What's up YouTube, this is MattGock83 and today I'm going to show you a short little video because I'm having a bunch of questions about uh, on my IC2 install video regarding my, uh, Mod Loader and Forge and all the stuff that came about with the new update uh, to 1.25. I want to explain the difference between uh, regular mods and Mod Loader type mods. Um, I really don't know what to show you while I'm doing this so I'm just gonna kinda play around in a world um, basically there are two types of mods there are utility mods and regular mods for instance a utility mod is mod loader and a regular mod is IC2 I'll just use IC2 and let's say buildcraft as examples <coughs> well I don't really play with Thomcraft that much so I didn't know it turned that into glass um, Anyway, I'm going to get rid of the music. I don't know why I want to hear that music. Um, I can't pretend to tell you I know everything that Mod Loader, Mod Loader MP, and Forge does because I have no goddamn clue because I'm not a coder. Um, but um, I do know what they do as part of the utility mod type mod is they help other mods work. Now the way it used to be is there was mod loader and that just simply helps mods load a new way to load mods and keep things working together right of course mod loader MP the MP stands for multiplayer and it was a multiplayer version of mod loader to put on servers so that you could put mods on servers now a lot of uh, the code that came out of mod loader MP became useful to other mod creators so they required you to put it in even if you were playing on your client in your single player okay <clears throat> and then of course forge came along and does a has a lot of things in it a lot of hooks that uh, let mods do the things that they do so for a long time a mod say like IC2 of course required all three of those utility mods to work what happened in the 1.25 update of forge was they started to include files um, not from Mod Loader MP, but created their own that pretty much did the same thing, eliminating Mod Loader MP for single player and uh, multiplayer as well. Now I think about it because if you wanted to hook up your server, you used to have to put Mod Loader MP and Forge in. Now all you need is Forge. And if you want to install IC2 or Buildcraft or Red Power for um, single player, you don't need Mod Loader MP anymore. Okay. Think of it this way. Let's say, uh, let's say you have a house. You have a brand new built house. It's empty, has nothing in it. Let's say that's your Minecraft. All right, and you want to add some stuff to it. Uh, like you, if you had uh, Minecraft and you wanted to install IC2, that's a mod. Let's say, uh, let's equal your mods to appliances in your house. You have a nice empty house. You want to add a TV. Uh, you want to add a washing machine and you want to add a refrigerator. Those are things you need to add into your house. Now, if you just put those things in your house, what are you going to get? You're going to get nothing but a couple of appliances that just sit there and do nothing. You need a utility to make them work. For example, if you want to watch the TV, you need power. You need electricity. That's a utility. So, I'm probably going to make this way too complicated for you, but you got your house, which is Minecraft, you got your mods, which are your appliances, and now you need utilities. Your utilities, like electricity and water, to make all those items work, are the same as Mod Loader and Forge. That's all they do is make other mods work. So, with the new update, Mod Loader MP is no longer needed. If you look on the Minecraft forums and you're looking at a mod and it tells you what it, you know, its prequels, its requirements, it says you need to uh, add Mod Loader before you add this mod. All right, you need that utility to make that mod work. All right. Now some mods still require Mod Loader MP. Usually the ones that require Mod Loader MP do not require Forge, and this is where you have to make a decision. If you have two mods, one requires Forge and one doesn't you can only use one or the other. Mod Loader MP does not work with Forge. I would say that again. Mod Loader MP will not work if you install Forge also. But in a sense it's cut down on what we all need to do to get these mods. All the mod creators 
who use Forge, when they came up with the 1.25 update, had to redo their mods to not include Mod Loader and P and use the new hooks in Forge. All right. So hopefully some of this stuff has been cleared up. When you install IC2, Buildcraft, Red Power, Equivalent Exchange, uh, any other Forge based mod, you do not need Mod Loader MP to make that work anymore. Just install Mod Loader, Mod Loader 4, um, I'm sorry, Minecraft Forge, run your game, you'll get your mods folder like you always do, install those mods in the mods folder if they say to, or install them in the jar, and play your game. I hope that some of this is cleared up. If you have questions, throw them down in your comments and I will do my best to answer them. I can't answer all of them and I can't answer stuff over and over again. Uh, I basically wanted to make this just because I got tired of all the comments on the video, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. Uh, it does work. If I put out a video on how to do something, it's because it works. If it doesn't work, I'm not going to throw you guys in the wrong direction or put out a gag video showing you how to install something that doesn't work. So like I said, throw some comments down there and I'll help you guys out the best I can. It's Madcock83. Have a good day.